Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth part and the last part of this tutorial series. In the last video we created a working prototype and today we will add joystick controllers and polish some of the fun game functionalities so the game feels much smoother. Also whole placement will be more like the original game. So let's finish this. Before we start polishing our game we will implement joystick functionality first. So we can implement a joystick script but some things are not worth coding by yourself because you can find very good scripts online and take them to your project. So you don't reinvent the wheel and I encourage you to not code everything by yourself and take some things from the internet and spare some of your time. Once you find your script import it into project and analyze it, see how it works, what are the key parts and what is important so you understand how it works. In the description of this video a joystick script will be provided. This script is also downloaded from the internet and little modified so it fit our needs. After you download the script import it into the scripts folder. For this script we need some preparation on the UI, so on game UI on canvas add image and name it left controller background, set image to UI circle faded, position it on left side and adjust size. On the left controller background add another image UI element and name it left controller handle, set image to UI circle bevel base, Set color as you like, adjust size and position. After that add joystick script to handle, set dead zone to 0.25, you can play with this value as you like, axis option set to vertical, because this script can be used for both axis, and assign background and handle component to script. This script moves handle in radius of the background size. And that's it for left controller, so duplicate it, move to right and rename it. On the joystick script check if everything is fine on background and handle references. In the metal bar controller script add two joystick variables for left and right joystick controller. In the fixed update we need to check if left or right controllers are moved. And that will be checked by comparing vertical variable from the joystick script. First for the left joystick controller, if vertical is not equal to 0 it means the joystick is moved and vertical value is between minus 1 and 1. And we will use it to change movement offset left variable. Movement offset left will be changed like on keyboard inputs but multiplied with the vertical component of the joystick. And for the right joystick controller just copy a left one and change to right joystick controller and movement offset right. These offset will be used later in code that we wrote few videos before. In editor on metal bar assign joysticks accordingly. Now when we play joystick controllers work like they should and now if you play this game on mobile devices it will work just fine. To make this more interesting we will make a score, ball count and game over text to go on off when the game starts or when we lose all balls to activate game over text. So we need to add some variables and functions to code. So select ball, bonus and score text and make the text fields empty, so they are off. On the game start reset function will activate them. In the game controller script add two variables, text lit color and text unlit color, so we have reference to on and off colors. Also in the game controller script create two functions, game over function and game completed function. Inside game over function set game over state to true and set game over text color to text lit color. Inside game completed function set game completed state to true and debug log that you completed the game.
use these functions in code where we set those states. On game controller, assign colors. Now when we play, on start all fields are empty and when the game starts the text fields are activated. If we lose a game, the game over text will be activated and if we win the game in the console will be logged that we won the game. Next, when we start the game, the metal bar goes high up. To fix that on the metal bar, inside metal bar controller script, change start position vertical variable to something like 1.25 in my case. And last thing to improve is to place holes in the right places. You can place them as you like, I will place them something like this. And now the game looks much better. And that's it for this tutorial series. I hope you learned something new that will help you in your game development career. If you have suggestions, critics or something else, write them down in the comments. I like your comments and they help me grow on this platform. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support me more, you can buy one of my assets at Unity Asset Store. Follow me on socials. All links are in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.